Hello once again, Tracker1985 here. And we have got up the road on tower. We've got the information. We went to Alexandra. We got the Kran spinels. And now we're going to um, deliver them to uh, Master Domenico. Is that his name? The one who cannot talk very well. It's not even not even that good a fake accent. I don't even know what his accent is. You disgust me! I didn't know you from Adam, but still I took you in. And this is how you repay me. Repay me. But it's done. I, I didn't do anything. Please believe me, I, I was just feeding Leopold as normal. What? What did you call him? It's Sir Leopold. Just who do you think you are? God, this guy needs a smack in the face. Look at the statue behind him is exactly like him right there. <laughs> nice. Of course he has. Such impertinence. No doubt the vile thereabouts put poison in your food as well. Why would he do that? Please, Master. You must believe me. I would never serve Leopold, Sir Leopold, poison. Why should I believe you? If you want to prove your innocence, you'll have to eat some yourself. Now. While I watch. You just want to, you know, smack him around the back of the head and say, stop being such a like jerk. That on your hands and knees. And look like you're enjoying it. Oh, what a twat. Eat. It's sexy, old oh, If I was treated like that, I would be tempted to poison him. Well, he seems safe enough. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, oh, it's like, oh. no, it's all mine now. So Leopold is as much your master as I am. I shouldn't have to remind you that you treat him with the utmost respect. Understood? Ah, you're back. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for my servant's unsightly display. Oh, it's on the side of display, yeah. I'm gonna break your nose. So, what are you doing here? If you come to report back, I'll uh, be waiting in my room. Do my team members have anything to say about this? Nope. You want to know what I thought? I thought Dominico had loosened up a bit when we got in the Colonel Spears. So what do you mean, Colonel Spinners? Anyway, I thought he was going to change, but it looks like I'm going to be disappointed. Are you really the reformed crook you have us all believe in, Angus? Seems far too good natured to me. Or did you steal that heart of gold? <laughs> Hate that guy. How could you like this job? Just, just a masochist. Absolute masochist. He's not going to send me on another fetch quest. up here isn't it? Up to security.
Ah, there you are. I hope that little sign before sign. upsets you <laughs> is nothing unusual. Oh, but I, I apologize if anybody is watching in my very limited and small audience who actually speaks like that. I, I'm not trying to direct, directly make fun of you. <laughs> I don't know why, but... but what accent is that? If you are watching this and you have this accent, tell me where you're from. And if everyone like the, like, like, like where you live speaks like this, uh, just, you know, tell me this is how people speak. This is, this is the dialect of this particular area. And I'll be fine. It's just, I've never heard this accent before. And I cannot, for the life of me, place it anywhere in the world. Of course. I never dream of firing him. Have far too much fun being his master. <laughs> Every once in a while, I think I can place the accent. But then he just throws in a weird word with a really weird pronunciation, and you're like, what? The Grand Spinners. Ha ha! You have! I won't have you bore me with details. I only care about results. Yes. Just holding them in my hand. Holding. Fielding my king an impenetrable barrier will be simplicity itself with these. That one wiving bin wiving <laughs> Is it like is it like Southern American slashed with Russian slashed with some kind of really bad English accent? <laughs> I just can't place it anywhere. So let me reward you. You may serve me as a god until that meddling girl comes. Fine. Very good. From this moment on, you will be my bodyguards. And now, for the first task in your new post. Come this way. This leads to my secret library. The book is called The Big Book of Barriers. How convenient. A recipe for making a very powerful barrier. Okay. It's better be worth my while. Oh, it might well be worth my while. You're an asshole, so I'm taking your stuff. Magic vestments. Mini metal! First mini metal of this part. No, don't care. Big book of barriers. There we go. And now I'm going to make off with it. He doesn't need it. Nothing seems particularly interesting. Uh, reduce damage by spells by two third. Can I give that to someone? For that? Oh, that will help Angelo. There we go. <laughs> oh, excuse me. No. Oh. What do we mean? It gradually restores HP when the wearer walks around. That's not good for anything. It's that girl! She's back! What on earth took you so long? I was ripping off your shit. <laughs> that 
pesky wand-waving Bimba was turned up again. I must erect the barrier immediately. Did you find the big book of barriers? Yes. Yes, this is it. Why are you so excited? It's your book in your library. I would have thought you would have sorted that out a little bit sooner. Yes, the final barrier. I must be... What are you worrying about? I'll have it done in a flash. Can't you tell a great magician when you see one? Just before you go. Fiery foo and babbling goo. Behold! Yay! Now that you're in top form, go and stall that wand-waving menace. Every second counts. Go! I'm going. I'm going. Jessica, this isn't you! Wake up! I see you've ignored my advice to prepare a stronger defense. Shut up! You won't get past me! I won't let you lay a finger on Master Dominico! Dominico? <laughs> You should die, never knowing about your noble origins. I could tell from the start that absurd show-off was not the one. The Scepter is all-knowing. No, I seek the chosen heir of the great sage Koopas. One of the seven who sealed away the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn! 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 You! And that, David, is you. It's Brock from Pokemon! I can't open my eyes. What a pity that the one who should be protecting you is unaware of his responsibility. <laughs> I wonder when you turn up. Why aren't Angelo and Yangus in this scene? Sorry, Jessica. That should be all right for an attack. Waste. Oof. We have a multi heal coming on. Yeah, 
Yeah, more defence lost. Uh, multi heal. What are the odds I won't be able to get this up to maximum? I bet you anything. She's going to do something that's going to knock me to sleep or something, or knock me out. And then I'm going to be completely boned. Oh, sugar. Should have used a multi heal. Oh, yes, okay. Full heal. There we go. <laughs> We're good. We're cool. Okay, I'm... I am going to risk it. At the risk of it not working, I'm going to risk it. Let's use a multi shot. Oh my god. Oh yes. Tracker's tension increased by a hundred. Oh Jessica, you go down. Okay, her defense is probably as low as it could possibly ever be. Uh, I mean, should I use Zap? Would does tension work with Zap? A hundred tension with Zap? It could be a waste if I use it and it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna try it. I try it. Okay. <laughs> it does work. Multi heal needed. Oh my god, what? Ah, uh, it's okay. Ah, uh, it's not very strong. Oh, what? Evil Jessica. <laughs> No more shadows. Stop doing that! Swoosh. What? Mm -hmm. 
Oh god! Okay, uh... Yeah. Decreased defense. Let's just uh, get a get a multi heal off. Keep Yanks in the running. I suppose since these shadows don't seem to do that much damage. Oh crap. They don't do too much damage, so it's not too much of an issue. Bloody hell! Dies. Another zap, please. <laughs> Passing it, surely. Yeah, swoosh. Has to swoosh. Oh no, that doesn't work. <laughs> what am I doing? Should have used, um, bollocks. At least that got him. Oh, sugar. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, she's got to be nearly dead. Come on. Uh, let's see. Full heal on Yangus. Yangus. Use Kabuff. Angelo. I don't know. Use. Use a mid heal on me. Yeah. Ugh. I wanted to get the defense off. Ah, there we go. Too bad, Jessica. Too bad. Evil Jessica is defeated. Nobody leveled up. It's like another bad guy thing. Why didn't she just start with that? Get out of the way! Move! Move! <laughs> just in the nick of time, the barrier is ready. You villain as fiend! Take my life, would you? Well, you'll have to break through my barrier first. Ah, that Kazam! <laughs> ah, complexions for- Ooh, that has got to hurt the shins.
Well done. You did a fine job of keeping her at bay until I was ready. I must reward you. You may have the honor of finishing her off. Do you? What? Why on earth not? Explain yourself. Well, well. So, this girl is a friend of yours. And she's been under some kind of curse ever since you defeated the Dual Magus. She's just lying on the floor, not requiring any kind of medical attention. Oh, hardly a good excuse. But I don't care anymore. The girl is yours to do with as you please. <laughs> Ooh. No. Bad. Consider it a reward for attempting to protect my life. He's just so full of himself. It won't be any um, financial reward, of course. <laughs> Wait. Where's Sir Leopold? He's gone. He must have been scared off by all the disturbance. David, come. Yes, Master. Party carry the unconscious Jessica to the inn. She appears to have some kind of dream from which she cannot wake. I heard this story from my great grandmother. She told me how her own great-grandmother was a renowned sage who came from the Western continent to be married. A sage? What do you mean? I didn't really understand at first either. But apparently, even though she was a woman, she was a master of sword fighting and magic. Really? So... Maybe that's why you're so good at it too. Maybe it came from her. If only. But I'm not under any illusions. I'm sure there's room for improvement with my sword work. And any real magician would think my magic's just child's play. You think? Well, I can't do either. If you ask me, your magic's amazing. Thanks. But it really isn't. In fact, if you ask me, I wasn't the one who inherited our ancestors' magic. I think it was you, Jessica. I'm sure there are abilities and skills that haven't yet been awakened in you. But one day they will be. And I can't wait to see you when that day comes. You never will, because you die. Is that what he looked like? I can't remember. I think we only saw him in flashback. Or flash forward or flash sideways or some kind of flash mmm sleeping girl don't like cover her with a sheet or anything just let her lie on the bed she's finally coming too King Trode Gov <laughs> Gov? <gasps> he called me Gov what, what happened? I feel like I've just woken up from a really long dream. Ah, it looks like you're back with us at last. Don't you remember? You disappeared the day after we defeated Dual Magus. Yes, I do remember. But wasn't that all a dream? I was being controlled by a hideous magical force. Just like Dual Magus was. It was this huge, terrible, evil, magical being. The Lord of Darkness. Rapthorn. But I found some things out. Listen, I've got so much to tell you. It wasn't a dream. That means I have important ill tell for you all. But there's no need to rush. Just take your time and start at the beginning. Yes.
Rapthorn was ordering me to do things. He told me to seek out and destroy the heirs of the Seven Sages so his seal would be broken. Rapthorn once terrorized the world, and it was the Seven Sages who managed to seal away his soul. They didn't have the power to destroy him completely, but they shut his soul away in the scepter and sealed it with their mystical blood. Rapthorn's curse seeks to destroy those sages' heirs. Master Rylus, my brother Alistair, Abbot Francisco, and the man from Baccarat too. Everyone who's been killed has been an heir of one of the seven sages. Hmm. The plot thickens. Do you mean to say that the reason Medea and I haven't been turned back to normal is also to do with this Rapthorn fellow? Definitely to do with this Rapthorn fellow. I don't know, but there are only three heirs left. David and two others. If the heirs of all seven sages are wiped out, Rapthorn's seal will be broken and he'll escape from the sept... That's it! The scepter! King Trode, where is it? Where's the scepter? You, you mean the royal treasure? Come to think of it, I don't know. I lost sight of it in all of the hullabaloo. No. I hate hullabaloo. David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on. Don't you mean David? Too late. <laughs> That's his name, right? David. <gasps> Oh, it's just me. My guys. Oh, okay. Maybe Dominico's got some clues. Where am you? Yeah. He's looking at some pretty, pretty candles. Ah, dogs like sticks. Now, there are only two left. You will interfere. No more. Ah, David! David! Are you okay? He's not dead. Please, go after Sir Leopold. He is, he's the only one who makes Master Dominico happy. Without Sir Leopold, would be so unhappy. Oh. 
What, what's happened? David? Esteemed heir to the great sage Cooper? Why has it taken me so long to realize? I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. My ancestors brought me and Cooper's heir together for a reason, but I... I... no. Just thinking about it is too painful. Painful. It's unbearable. It's such a super quick chain of changing feelings there. I must apologize if I worried you. It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. Now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design to fulfill my family's destiny. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Well, it's too late now, you're out of a job. David, but somewhere <coughs> in the way, my ancestors let the power go to their heads. We lost sight of our true purpose. If only I'd realized all this sooner, I could have prevented this tragedy. I ordered my servants to bury David as the heir to a great sage should be buried. Nothing can put right the wrong I have done. Dab straight. I am not You're a loser. To show my face we hate you all. Public. You we shouldn't show your face in public anyway, man. You're ugly. Last five. No. I know. It was my Leopold who ended David's life. It pains me to have to ask you, but... Will you destroy him for me? Will you avenge the spilt blood of the sages? That... Creature isn't my Leopold anymore. He's, I know this won't make amends for my unforgivable ignorance, but it's all I can do now. And I owe you something too, for all the trouble I have caused you. I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential as a magician. Mm-hmm. Allow me to help. <laughs> Allow Stay away from me, creepy old man. To awaken the dormant powers within you. Oh, okay. Good crackle. People say. They saw Leopold heading north out of town. That's where you should start looking. I'm sorry to have to ask this of you. I wish you the best of luck. I do like luck. How much money have I got? I have got nowhere near the 13,000 I need to buy that bikini. Okay. Okay, now I've got to like equip Jessica with loads of stuff. No, no. Uh, intriguingly, in spite of its name, this hat boasts no special magical properties. I should probably have that. Okay. Kitty shield. Hmm. 
some kind of hat. And then an accessory. Might as well. 15 defense. forcing into a corner. Stop picking your nose, Yangus. Why am I getting sunlight sparkle indoors? Yeah, there. <laughs> I'm getting sunshine sparkle in the house. Wait a minute, Gov. <laughs> Gov? She called me Gov now. Nothing much, but ever since we defeated Dolmagus and I picked up the scepter, I haven't been able to speak my own mind. So I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness Rapthorn is, but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. Hmm. I don't intend to stop searching until we've found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So, uh, I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together? Sorry, did that come out a bit strange? Yes, it did come out a bit strange. <laughs> oh yeah, well at least I don't look strange. Oh, bird! should look in the mirror sometime. That's not very nice. I am the most handsome in ma handsomest man in this world. I have a princess who has the hots for me. Who do you have? No one. Why don't you look in a mirror? Put on a proper shirt. God. Where was David Matt buried then? <laughs> hey, look at the sun move. It's moving. Well, I think that's enough for that. We've uh, got Jessica back. We've re-equipped some people. We've got some items. We've got some things. And we are heading... Heading north. We're heading north. In the next thrilling conclusion episode. Okay, yep, so uh, that's it for this part, and um, we'll see you in the next episode. Well, not we, the Royal We. I'll see you in the next episode of Dragon Quest VIII.